Hi, my name is Markus Pfeiffer. I'm working for Texas Instruments in the MSP430 Tools Development Group. And today I would like to present the brand new MSP430 Easy 430 RF2500 tool. So when you order the tool, what you get is a box with a two PCBs. I'll explain them in a second. And of course, you will also get a CD-ROM with all necessary software to get started. And there's also a quick start guide included. So you don't need to have any external or additional equipment. So let's get started to talk about the tool, what it does. That's the emulator board for the MSP430 uh, Easy, Easy RF tool. Basically, it consists of two parts. The first part, which you can see here on the right side, it's the emulator board. It's all you need in order to program and debug the MSP430 microcontroller. But in addition to this, it also gives you an application UART functionality. This means that if you want to monitor UART communication from your microcontroller, you will get it on your MS, uh, you'll get, be able to see it on your PC um, as a virtual uh, COM port. The other part, of course, you will get for this wireless development tool is um, target boards. These target boards consist of an MSP430F2274. It's one of our mid-range devices. It gives you 32 kilobytes of flash memory, one kilobyte of RAM, and of course, you also can find a lot of uh, analog peripherals such as ADCs, operational amplifiers, and so on. Most of the pins, or especially the most important ones, are available on this target board. As you can see on top here, there's a row with connectors where you can um, solder on wires in order to bind this board into your application. For the wireless part, on the bottom left side, you can see a small chip, and that's the Chipcon or Low Power Wireless CC2500. It's a 2.4 GHz transceiver, which is also, like the MSP430, uh, highly suitable for low power applications. Maybe some of our European customers will ask if there's also a spin of this tool available um, for the sub 1 GHz frequency range. It's not available at the moment, but the parts, the RF parts, are not just pin compatible, but also register compatible. So if you start the development um, of your software, then basically you can do it until the end. And when you get your final PCB, you just need to um, change some register settings in your software and uh, basically the application will run. To continue, RF is not a lot of fun with only one uh, target board, of course. So you will get uh, with the tool a second target board, including a battery holder so that you can use it standalone, independent of the PC. And again, it contains the MSP430 and the CC2500 transceiver. So it's the exact same, which is attached on the USB stick I just showed you. For sure, you also need to have software in order to get your application started. So we are not just delivering um, IDEs to development studios, such as the IAR Kickstart um, embedded workbench, but also the Texas Instruments Code Composer Essentials. On top, you will get um, a demo application, which contains or which is based on the Texas Instruments Simplicity Protocol stack. And we are not just delivering libraries, which you can bind into your application, but you will also get a source code, which you can easily use as a framework for your final wireless application. So you can tweak the code according to your needs in order to uh, have a final product with it. I hope the tool is interesting for you. If you are interested in ordering it, you can go to ti.com and visit our e-store in order to order the tool for 49 US dollars. So now that I showed you the hardware, how the EZ430 RF 2500 tool looks like, I would like to give you an introduction to the demo application, which comes with the tool. So basically what it does, it um, shows the temperature in a room or in another environment. Um, one of the uh, tools, of course, is connected to your PC. That's the USB stick uh, I showed before. And this is surrounded by the satellites. So let me start up the demo application, which we installed before. That's how it looks like. So now in the middle of the screen, you can see um, a temperature value. Basically, that's the data which is given from the access point, basically the USB stick interface that's plugged into your PC. And what we can do now is power up um, the target boards. So while I'm doing this, you can see that bubbles are uh, appearing on the screen. So that's the first bubble of our first um, uh, satellite board. Now I'm powering up the next one and uh, the third one. What it does show you is the temperature of each uh, chip, of each MSP430 derivative on the targets. 
and it also gives you information on the supply voltage, so basically the, the battery voltage in the balls. So what I can do now is I can heat up one of the um, chips so you can see how the temperature is changing. So if you have a look at the uh, uh, bubble on the uh, left bottom, you can see that the temperature went up a bit. What I can also show you is that I'm moving the tool. So basically if I move one tool away a bit farther from the PC, you can see that the bubble moves out. And if I now take it um, closer to the PC again, you can see that it moves in. So I cannot show this, of course, uh, on a very large scale here. It's just a simple demo application. But you can see, I think, uh, or you get the idea of how this works. And basically, all the software, everything you see here is um, in the um, demo project on the CD. It's in the source code. So if you want to get started with an RF project, it's very easy. Just reuse the software framework. As said, it's delivered in source code. So you can change it, apply it uh, according to your needs. So if you don't want to measure temperature, but uh, other values, it's very easy to change. And uh, you can see that it was not difficult at all to create our first RF application. So if you want to obtain your own EZ430 RF 2500 tool to get started, simply visit our website at www.ti.com slash EZ430. And basically this is where it takes you to. Um, here it doesn't show, only show the um, new EZ430 RF, the wireless development tool I just presented, but it gives you an overview of all the tools we have available from this series. So if you're interested in the full development tool, which I just showed you, just click here on EZ430 RF 2500, which then uh, takes you directly to our web store to order it. It costs only 49 US dollars. And uh, if you want to get some more information, Exactly, for instance, on the documentation, you can also easily go to the MSP430 product folder at ti.com slash MSP430 to obtain a um, user guide and further information. I would like to thank you very much for your time and I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you very much.